Hey, it's Ron. Got a, uh, another unboxing here. I've got the Thermaltake Smart Series. Uh, it's the 650 watt, as you can see here. Uh, it is a 80% or 80 plus bronze. Haswell ready. It does have a five year warranty. It's part of their performance line. Uh, speak a little bit about that real quick. They've got their value, which is their light power, their performance line, which is their uh, smart. Then they've got enthusiast. Uh, well, you can see here, Tough Power XT, Tough Power, and then the Evo Blues, and then they also have their signature, which basically the uh, the main difference is the efficiency. Like you got your enthusiast is 80 gold and 80 silver, where your signature is 80 gold and 80 plus platinum. That's uh, different, but uh, got the even like I said the performance version here. And this particular power supply does have the flat style cables uh, instead of you know just the, the bundle of cables. They're flat. You've got the main 24 pin for the motherboard. You've got one 12 pin that's in the, or 12 volt 8 pin. Four Molex, six SATAs, two six plus two pins, which is six or eight, however you want to look at it for your video cards, and one lonely floppy connector for those of you that need a floppy. All right, this one does actually uh, boast a, a single 12 volt row, which I prefer in my systems. It's got a load of 50 amps on the 12 volt at 600 watts. And let's see, it does Japanese capacitors. All right, let's get into this thing real quick. Gonna be a little bit of a long video, maybe potentially, possibly. Uh, but I know, I know you guys can pull through. All right. Let's see, we've got the uh, warranty policy and the uh, I guess the book. Yeah, some instructions. Now ah, okay. yeah, it just tells you you know how to plug things in. I already know this. If you don't read the manual, you get a nice fresh power cable, and uh, looks like four small zip ties. All right, this is, uh, I believe, a non-modular power supply. Uh, as far as the packing material, I'll show you here. It's just got this little foam, about a half an inch thick foam pad that was just in the center of the box, like that there, and it's got some bubble wraps. All right, that's all for the box. Put that over there. All right, tape. I'm gonna give you all some dimensions. Is kind of why this unboxing video is gonna be a little longer than the normal. Hey, here it is. Yeah, yeah it's got the, the the branding, you know, on the main side there. It's got a it's a 120 millimeter fan. It's supposed to be a, the silent edition fan. I always take off these little plastic pieces. I know on video cards it actually says to remove it. I don't know why. But on the video, on the power supplies, I do it still. Yeah, on the, uh, you got, you know, your voltages, uh, how many amps, things like that. Same thing that's in the box. And then on the other side, you've got another label. So if you're, you know, bottom mounting your. Or top mount, either one. Let's see. There's nothing on this side, just the thermal take logo. And as you can see, it is non modular. Just a lot of cables here. Let me get this tie off real quick. Sorry for the background noise. There's nothing I can do about that. But you're hearing a lot of noise. All right. Let's see what we've got here. We've got the 24 pin. Like I'm going to do some measurements on the. Uh, like I said there are all these flat cables. It's supposed to be better for airflow. Um, kind of a marketing gimmick, I believe. Gimmick really. So I watched a video recently on uh, Linus Tech Tips. Check it out if you haven't seen it. It's, uh, does cable management really matter? 
is what was the title of the video. And they had uh, Luke in there was pretty much stuffed the entire case full of boxes before it mattered uh, about the cabling. All right, so we've got the 24 pin. The main reason I'm doing this just so you all see the that is right at 22 inches for the 24 pin cable. Just you know, some of the main for if you have a big case, that way you kind of know what you're going with. <clears throat> All right, next, let's see, we've got the <clears throat> yeah, looks like pretty much all these cables are probably the same. Let me look. Yeah, it looks like your PCI Express is uh, it's right about 20 inches or 21 inches long where the and it's a daisy chain style. But yeah, like I said, they're six plus two, so you can do an eight pin on your power supply there. For your video. And as far as the Molex one, <clears throat> the first one is it's about 20 inches long to the first head. And then it has four additional uh, extensions on it, which are just going from base to base, that are right at five and three quarters long, five and three quarters inch long. That's from like here to here. But from the power supply to the first head, is about 20 inches long. And like I said, all your Molexes, all four of those are daisy chained together and then they also have the floppy daisy chain to that which isn't a huge deal because most people don't use those except for fans and your SATA cables are actually you've got two sets of SATAs <clears throat> three three on each And they're the same distance as the Molexes were, about 20 inches. And you've got, like I said, you've got two sets of these here. You've got three heads on each one. So yeah, that's a uh, just a checking it out. I know it wasn't a, a real professional, but give you some uh, some know-how. All right, guys, have a good one.